welcome back. In this video I've got a couple of spooky stories for you. One of which happened to me and the other one happened to my brother. This is a really strange part of the woodland. It's always had a weird feel but um, after these experiences that happened to us too it's a one that I tend not to go in on a night now. Okay, first up, my brother's story. A couple of years ago, he was in this deep ravine here, going for a walk. It wasn't dark, but it was starting to get dusk, so the darkness was closing in. All of a sudden, it seemed a lot darker than it should have done. Heavy clouds coming over, very, very dark. He thought, okay, I better just head away off up that bank side. But he took a moment just to pause, sit on a log that crossed the river. I don't know whether it was this log. From his description, it possibly was. So he sat down, just gathered himself for a minute in anticipation of climbing up the very steep bank or up the waterfall, which is about 100 metres upstream. And then he noticed that there seemed to be hardly any sound apart from the trickling water. No bird sound, all of that had stopped. Nothing atmospheric, there was just hardly any sound. And then all of a sudden, through his backside, he felt two distinct knocks on the other end of the log. Just like that. Felt up through his backside. Looked across. You could still see perfectly clearly nothing whatsoever there and he had the overwhelming sense of dread that's going to come with the next story I'm going to tell you needless to say he scarpered now apart from having a crushing feeling of dread my brother had the not the knowledge but the the distinct impression that there was something looking at him. He could feel eyes boring into him. And that's exactly what I felt, except my experience was in the pitch black. Whoa. Here's something really strange and almost Blair Witch-like. <laughs> Look at that. It's been tied in a knot. But not only has that one been tied in a knot, so is that one. And these branches are actually dead now, so this must have been done whilst the branches were still supple, whilst they were still alive. Knots all over. And actually, I'm just having a closer look at this tree further up. Up here, there's a knot there. And look at the state of the trunk. I wonder if that has actually been tied in a knot at some point as well. This was what happened to me a couple of years ago. I'd been out metal detecting on a night, because sometimes I can't get out during the day. I was coming up this path, which has got a mill race running along the side of it. There's the mill race. It's very difficult to tell because it's overgrown, but it basically runs up the side of the path. You can see, if you had a choice of walking anywhere, you would walk on the path. You would not walk through that. There's a lot of branches snapped off in it, a lot of holly grown over it, brambles, all sorts of muck. You're going to stick to the path. But there was something in that mill race one night when I was here walking very quietly through the wood. I mean, you can hear the path. The path is very, very quiet. I'm not even looking down at my feet and there's hardly any noise. And just like the boys in American Werewolf in London should have done, I stuck to the path. That didn't stop something from following me. I was coming up, bear in mind it was pitch black. Not like it is now, it's totally light. I literally couldn't see my hand in front of me. There was no moon visible, a lot of cloud cover. But I know this path well, I was walking along it. And all of a sudden, off to the side, I hear... I'm like, oh, okay. There's a deer alongside me just about to sprint off through the wood 
I know what it is, it's not a problem. And then I heard something on two legs, and this is what it sounded like. Hopefully, the mic will pick this up. Now you could just see, that's just him. He's stepping on twigs. But what I did next proved that it wasn't just me. There was something on two legs, walking alongside me, almost touching distance that I couldn't see. I had that overwhelming fear of dread. I literally, you know, I mean, as I say, I don't get scared of things, but this, it just made me feel that if I chose to run, Whatever it was, it was off to the side, would be on my back and killing me before I'd finished making that decision. It wasn't a nice feeling. Again, I had the feeling that something was staring at me really intensely. As I was walking, this is what I was hearing. And if you know that you're not the one making those branch cracking sounds and there's something on two legs that you can't see just to the side of your vision it would take some ridiculous hard man not to crap themselves i was scared beyond belief and i just slowly walked out of the wood as soon as i got out in the field i could see that nothing was following me everything was okay the feeling of dread had gone, but for that minute, maybe it's two minutes, that felt like an eternity. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what to say about it. It was, unless you've gone through something like that, um, you'll, you, you won't know what I'm on about. But it was very disconcerting, and then later to learn that my brother had a very similar experience near here, was uh was really weird i've always loved the supernatural and everything you know i've always been into ghosts witches vampires monsters cryptids i suppose to a point and it's my interest in that that's led me to hear of similar stories but these similar stories generally occur in the us out in the woods and they're associated with malevolent bigfoot or the even more scary prospect of a dog man. Now I didn't notice any smells, couldn't hear anything, apart from those snapping twigs. Um, but for all the world, it the experience I had mirrors what you guys in the US are experiencing with your relations to a dog man. I don't know whether it's real, I don't know whether it's not real, I don't know whether it's a physical being, something interdimensional, something spectral. I have no idea, but something is definitely in these woods. That I can say for sure. When you've, when you've lived in the countryside and you've been in as many woods, you've hunted, you're familiar with all sorts of animals' behaviour, you can tell if something's walking on two legs or it's walking on four legs. You recognise smells, signs, tracks. Everything tells a story. The only story that that particular experience I had told was that something was there and it was just trying to scare me that's pretty much all it was there to do i got the sense it was there to kill me but um it didn't and i don't know why because i had the feeling that it could have but if you've had a similar experience please let me know in the comment section down below It'd be interesting to see if it was just all in my head and I was having auditory hallucinations or whether it's something that actually goes on and just is underreported through fear of embarrassment or ridicule. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.